And Cox in white, Houston in red. There's a drive and a bucket to start the game. Phenomenal year thus far. We talked about A.J. Lawson as a slasher. Hinton can score in multiple ways, and I like the tucks. He contorts his body, and he finishes. Uh, he's one of five guys averaging double figures for Houston, actually six guys, and that's one of the reasons why they have been such a challenge to deal with this year. Only loss to BYU and then a very good Dana Altman, Oregon team. Road nearly turned it over, able to get it off to Grimes, who drives in, overshot it. Here, I think he's a better shooter than that. He has to continue to work on his shot selection and get some inside presence from Coatsar. Jerome lets a three fly. Because they know how challenging it can be to score against a set defense with all five guys in front of him. Coatsar short with a jumper, missed his first couple of shots in the game. Here's Jerome. Probably depends on whether or not you're sitting in the uh, commissioner's office in, in, <laughs> in Birmingham of the SEC or if you're just a casual college basketball fan. 63, or excuse me, 65 second half points in that game against Duke. It's insane. Carolina, one of eight. Well, nice. that gives it off. A.J. Lawson, second three. Another three, A.J. Lawson this time has it rim out. Rebound underneath for Hinton. Maybe trying to go coast to coast, has it blocked. Houston team averaging almost six blocks per game this season. Coats are from just beyond the free throw line as it spin out. That's the shot they need him to make. Three to start the year that happened in preseason practice. All loose, bodies all over the place. Gorham. Up, don't ever give up. He may not be with us anymore, but those words will live on forever. Keyshawn Bryant lets it fly from the wing. The lefty has it rim out. Level. And I can tell he's still getting accustomed to his body, still learning to trust that knee. But I know that Coach Frank Martin in South Carolina is glad to have him back in the lineup to be able to penetrate and score on the interior. Dejan Giroux a year ago may have been the biggest beneficiary of those guys. Manaya from the opposite corner. Can he go back to back? Too strong. Well, we had that knock down some threes earlier. Coach Sampson said, we love it when guys make their first one or two three-pointers because we know those averages are going to balance out. And so you mentioned that South Carolina shot below 30%. We'll see how long the three-point shot lasts today. Offensive rebound, put back won't go for Bryson Gresham, but he got it a second time, and it is a big thing between the lines. He's got some players too, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Rebound underneath by Levesque. T.J. Moss turned it over, passed it to no one, and now a long outlet pass and a jam for Hinton in transition. Moss, same spot, this time off the mark. On a fresh start for the young man. Eight points for Quentin Grimes. Houston matching their biggest lead. They've tied or led twice now by 10 points. Biggest coaching box on planet Earth is in Nashville at Memorial Gym. Absolutely, where you see coach just haven't been able to find the flow offensively, and you got to give credit to the defense of Houston. South Carolina, 3 no good. With the video review, you get it right. I don't know if they second guess themselves. They just Ronald Reagan, trust but verify, right? With the encouragement of <laughs> Kelvin Sampson. <laughs> Woo. Three, that's a multiple players you have to deal with. We've already spoken about Grimes. Good flow here offensively. Minute to play in the first half. South Carolina looking for a stop. Gresham able to get it to the corner. Another big three for Hinton. It's going to tear down your overall percentage. Jerome finds Nate Hinton. It's his first miss from behind the arc. First four minutes of the second half. How important is that for South Carolina? You always hear first five minutes of the second half. I think it's important for Mike Jair. 
Bolden tried to go underneath. Here's the nice. lob and Look. the finish in transition. 14-point deficit not only matches the largest in this game. But left hitting wide open for the three-point shot. 13 points now for Grimes, five of them here in the second half. Nate hit. Check this out from the miss. Look at it. Now it's a sprint. Who's got the faster team? Who's willing to run the hardest? And that time it was Mr. He's got to get it when he's inside. Because here again, you haven't seen South Carolina be able to get by the defense. Manaya, three off the mark. Get the ball. It's the only way to finish a defensive possession unless you allow the offense to score. Hinton on the drive, he's fouled. At, at Ohio State, if you've got a big guy who I think is so essential this year. Hinton makes one of two. Who started his career at UMass, sat out for a season, and has really found a home. And has been a big part of the success of Houston the last couple of years. Bryant, this time, traveled. Turned it over. Everything but the finish, but an offensive rebound. Sasser gives it away, extra passes all the way to the corner. Grimes, short, but another offensive board. Pull up three, short. I don't know if that's the shot that Frank Martin's looking for from Jermaine Cousard. How about the difference from defensively trying to push the Houston Cougars out a little bit more? Hinton finds Sasser, good shooter from deep off the mark. The tip in won't go, nor will the second. But they're going to climb back in, 13 of them from the Cougars. Ball touched last. Uh, Coach Hardaway at Memphis, even though he's got an extremely talented to get Wiseman back in the lineup, is going to compete for a Sweet 16 and possibly even a national championship. I think they're that talented. Certainly and pretty like Jeffries. I mean, they have a ton of guys who have proven uh, that they've taken advantage of Wiseman being out, and I think that will make them even better when he gets back. I, I was going to ask you that. I mean, is there a scenario, obviously, you don't want to be without? Eight minutes to play. Houston by 13. Hinton working on Manaya. Offensive rebound, and Houston will recycle the possession. Quentin Grimes counts. He's got to try to use his big body. He's wide. He has a nice girth about himself to try to get into the defense. Tire Bolden. That was Russell Wilson continuing to potentially make a run toward the MVP. That's Sports Center 11 Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN. Simon gets the Gamecocks within 10 with three and a half to play. And victory uh, at UMass. And I think he was just excited and anxious after that dunk. All right, Cox, they want to, uh, you, you take this personal. Right now, Houston is proving that we're just not better, but we're substantially better than you at this point of our season. Your junior from New Orleans. Mike Dejan Giroux started his college career at UMass, coaching change, decided to leave, sat out for a year, just taking classes at Houston. He's taking the strategy of getting guys to red shirt. They get to learn your system for a year, they get to practice, they make the current guys that are playing better, and has done a sensational job and is one of the, I think, quality coaches in our business that doesn't get enough credit. But, but Fish, 